When exactly is the future? How long before humanity starts building fleets of starships and begins colonizing other planets? A few years from now? A few decades? A few centuries? Across alternate worlds you'll find a variety of different answers, but is there a correct one? Or at least one that's most believable? Well, maybe, but not really. The Templin Institute investigates alternate worlds and realities. Uh, but that's not to say I don't have some opinions. Predicting the future is of course one of the most foolhardy things you can do, and without knowing how things in our world will proceed, it's difficult to accurately judge alternate worlds. I do believe, however, that when depicting the future, there's two very important things you need to keep in mind. The first might seem fairly obvious. Enough time must have passed for humanity to have believably advanced technologically, politically, and culturally for however it's depicted in the year whatever. If not much has changed, it should take place sooner. If everything has changed, give it some more time. Let's look at the Systems Alliance. By 2149, humanity has for the most part explored the solar system, racial divisions are less pronounced, and the geopolitical landscape of Earth is fairly different. This all seems pretty believable. It's here though that things in my opinion start moving a bit too fast. In just under 40 years, the Systems Alliance will develop faster than light travel and begin accessing the mass relay network, colonize dozens of worlds, fight an interstellar war against the Turians, be welcomed into the transgalactic citadel, and become one of the most important and powerful civilizations in the galaxy. History can of course at times move very fast, but with how integral and widespread humanity seems to be in seemingly every corner of the galaxy and galactic society as a whole, to have all that happen in just under 40 years seems a bit rushed. So moving on to the second thing you must consider when depicting the future is kind of the opposite. After a certain point, things become just impossible to predict, and humanity will likely be transformed into something unrecognizable. Who in the Middle Ages, for example, could predict things like radio, nuclear power, or the internet? United Nations Space Command first encountered the Covenant in 2525. At that time, it had enormous fleets of faster than light warships spread across its region of the galaxy, hundreds of extrasolar colonies and hyper-advanced artificial intelligences. And yet, it seems like everything else is more or less unchanged, or at the very least, not representative of five centuries of progress. The UNSC Warthog would fail to meet the requirements of a modern military today, while its culture and society seems to have been transplanted directly from the 21st century. Whether intended to have been depicted this way or not, this version of humanity seems to have suffered a tremendous scientific and cultural stagnation that has lasted for hundreds of years, with developments only occurring in very specific fields. I can accept that certain breakthroughs might be prioritized over others, especially during an era focused around interstellar colonization, but for a society as diverse and advanced as the UNSC to completely halt all development in certain areas lacks believability. Another side effect of depicting humanity too far in the future is that there's a lot of history to fill in. Star Citizen takes place in 2948, and in addition to sharing all the technological and cultural stagnation present in the UNSC, apparently very few events of actual interest happened to the United Empire of Earth in those 930 years. Sure, a few alien races were discovered, a few wars were fought, and a new space fighter introduced, but when you compare that to an average 900 years in the history of Earth, it comes across as pretty boring. It could be set in the year 2200, and nothing of value would be lost, and it would be a bit more believable, at least in my opinion. So what is my answer to the question of when is the future? Well, I think anywhere between 2100 and 2350 is the optimal range to depict the standard sci-fi setting of the future. It gives enough leeway for things to have changed and progressed on Earth, but it's not so distant that everything will have grown unrecognizable. That is of course not based on any real scientific insight. If warp drive is invented tomorrow and we all unite under a single world government, I am going to look like an idiot. But until then, there's just no other option than to go with what feels believable, rather than what's realistic. I can't prove that any of the examples I gave are wrong, only that to me they feel kinda wrong. Of course, there are limitless exceptions to my answer. If humanity has spent centuries traveling aboard generation ships, it's only natural that wherever they end up won't reflect centuries of uninterrupted progress. If fantastic technologies are uncovered rather than invented, it might not require a century or two to have a bunch of starships flying around. 
And of course, if there is a nuclear war or age of strife, then almost anything can be rationalized. But that is just my opinion. And even though I've never been wrong and never will be, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Is humanity in the year 3000 basically the humanity of today, only with spaceships and weird hair? Does it only take a decade or so to completely adjust to a galactic community full of weird aliens? Do you not care about any of this? Let me know in the comments, and until next time, this has been Incoming. The Templin Institute investigates alternate worlds and realities. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to directly support us, vote in polls to determine future topics, and receive some cool rewards, please consider pledging to our Patreon page.